Um. All right, we're gonna speed run through this explanation of uh, <laughs> what what arcs are in, in Death's Door. Um, this is a uh, current patch, as it says on the side. I'll be explaining what they are, kind of how to do them, uh, and some some helpful tips on on how to practice it. Uh, arc stands for air roll cancel, uh, which is basically more or less what we'll be, we'll be doing with it. Um, it's used primarily for going across gaps that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get across, such as this gap here that leads to getting the uh, hook shot upgrade early, uh, which is the, the first instance that you'll notice it in current patch is here. Uh, it can be done with a uh, sword and dagger, so we'll be using sword at the beginning uh, when we do it, uh, but you also later on primarily use dagger when when doing it and the timing's a little bit different for each of those so i'll kind of talk about that uh one thing i'll mention is very important to if you're going to practice this i would highly suggest getting the the debug tool that exists uh in the death store discord there's a few helpful things uh, including if you do an arc over a pit and fall into it uh, while performing the arc, uh, you will get stuck in place until you either quit out of the game or or you'll be stuck in place and you won't be able to open your menu uh, until you either get hit or uh, quit out of the game and reopen it. Uh, a way to prevent this when practicing, which obviously you can't do it during runs, is to install the the the, uh, the debug tool that the Dust Door Discord has. Uh, and you're able to press F3, which opens up this menu, and then press it again, and it will unfreeze you. Uh, other helpful things is F4 will heal you. It will toggle healing you, and you can untoggle it by pressing it again. And then F8 lets you set a location to um, teleport to. Uh, and F9 takes you there, so you can keep setting these and moving around. You can also press Control and left-click to move around a little bit if you want to position yourself somewhere or teleport back across to practice something again. But anyways, getting into the actual arc itself, uh, how you're going to perform it is do a charge attack till you are charged. Then you are going to press a roll before you go off the edge and then a charge attack. The timing difference for dagger and sword mainly from, from what I've noticed is you want to hit the charge attack at the end a little bit later for sword, otherwise uh, the arc potentially won't work. So, we're gonna start here. You don't want to be too close to the edge because then you're not really able to roll before you go off the edge. You don't go too far away because your charge attack does need to take you off the edge. So kind of get a feel for how far the charge attack is gonna take you. Um, position yourself. Uh, the first half of the arc is gonna go whatever direction you are facing, uh, or whatever direction you, you have yourself pointed towards. Uh, the second half of it, you can adjust the angle somewhere different, but just make sure you're facing where you want to go. Um, and then we're going to do a charge attack roll off the edge. Um, the roll before we get off the edge and then press and hold the other charge attack as we're going um, across again. So again, not too close to the edge here. Make sure we're pointing where we want to. Charge attack roll before we go off the edge and then charge attack. Um, after we're off the edge, after we've performed the roll, uh, it's important not to get the the order mixed up or try to try to do the um, second charge attack too early. Otherwise, you'll uh, kind of plunge attack into the into the void and uh, or into the the water and and uh, have to redo it. Uh, daggers is a little bit easier. Uh, daggers the timing on the second charge attack. You just do it pretty much as soon as as soon as you you've done the the roll. So you can, it's it's a little bit more forgiving. So just do charge attack, roll before you go off the edge, and then charge attack uh, after that point. So here you go. So um, this is something that you need to just kind of get comfortable with because it is used a lot during the run. Um, kind of get the timing down in your head. But I think having the, the debug tool when practicing helps the most. Uh, I initially practiced without the debug tool and had to walk back here over and over again to practice this. Um, also, if you're not going to use the debug pool, tool geez, <laughs> to, to practice um, going off an edge that isn't above water, like the, the ladders that are in the, the, the beginning sort of graveyard section, like going off of that. 
so you're not having to potentially take damage and, and die and do that over and over again. So uh, that is that's how I'd suggest practicing it. Something good to get comfortable with, especially when you start doing them over uh, voids and other dangerous sections that could potentially uh, get you killed. It's it's good to to be comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, ask in the Death Store Discord or leave a comment on this. And hopefully this was helpful.